Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, I'm back again, actually with some audio this time. Finally the uh, nightmare of my microphone days of uh, low audio are over. Never had that problem on the radio, but my goodness, it takes a lot of time to get everything said on my channel. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about all that. I'm here to talk about this. So this is the uh, Yesu uh, FT28M here. And I got this way back when at a pawn shop and uh, it ended up being a good good purchase at the time. This thing was about $40. I got it uh, 10, 15 years ago maybe. Um, they stopped making them about uh, 2009 and uh, they were made in 2003 to start with. but. So I have that, and it's a nice two meter rig. But the uh, the real issue I have is this this microphone. This is the uh, HM48. Uh, but uh, yeah, look at that. That's uh, even just a piece fell off just now. So um, I got to replace this. Let me show you that uh, right there. That is a mess uh, with all that. Uh, it has just uh, an amazing amount of uh, uh, problems uh, just ready to happen with these wires end up uh, shorting out so I thought it would be kind of a good idea to go ahead and replace and do a video um, but uh, there's not much to it so when I got the replacement here it's pretty much um, just a connector on one end and it already has um, the six pin on this side here so that'll just go in there in its place um, I also saw that there's some couple mods out there so we're gonna look into doing that too um, but uh, alright so let's get into this uh, this uh, microphone here and we'll boot up this radio afterwards uh, we can use that without a, a microphone but uh, let's go ahead and just get this all set up right away even though this one does work um, the problem I, I don't like about having this, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, yeah, I didn't put it in the right way. This does have a weird connection here. I wish this had a boot on it. It looks like it does have the uh, the uh, the boot issue because a lot of people say that you can snap this tab off. Um, so let's go ahead and just power this up real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just using the 10 amp power supply um, and I'm on very low setting which is uh, about 5 watts. I'm just going into a dummy load. Uh, this is cool, it has a receiver everywhere that allows you to get, uh, to get out um, from uh, 136 to uh, 174. So that's cool. But the issue I have with this open wire, just minus it being an ungodly mess here, is that this thing um, ends up having a, a backlight on it, which, there, we finally snapped in enough here. But, uh, yeah, we have error because we're not in our normal coverage here. It has a great VFO control, um, and we can get down and, and get to where we need to. Um, which on this is it's a two meter uh, receiver and it goes up to 60 watts big issue that everyone had with these is if you did a long QSO um, or ended up doing packet and data which this allows um, these uh, didn't have enough heat sink on this even though you think that uh, you know this this is a solid heat sink it's you know still not enough for the uh, transistor that's in there uh, to get adequate cooling so these have had many issues just overheating um, and if the and if it didn't overheat it would allow components to fail and that's never a good thing um, so if we go back to uh, we can just type in I was just playing around on it here uh, 144 zero we're in a dummy load we can key up but we go below all that we have an error we can receive all that down there so that's kind of cool so we're gonna go ahead and replace this mic and I'll go over a couple other things on this radio so I'll be back in just a minute all right so we have this uh, all done and set up now so we'll turn the power supply on it helps a lot and you turn the power on next 
Every, I always still think that this is the uh, power on off. This is the volume. This is squelch. It actually is labeled up here. Um, but here we are. We have that receive. It's 172, 200. Um, but let's go ahead and just, uh, just since we replaced this, everything is now working uh, the way it should be. So we have our options available to us. Um, with our weather options uh, we then also have our manual punching options for our two meter um, so there we are we have our options available we're sitting there we can transmit we're just in a dummy load so that's good um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, George Donaldson's video it's exact same thing um, that I had in mind uh, the same symptoms uh, goodness, I had to pull it out here. But yeah, this is this is just a piece of plastic um, in here. So uh, not only that, but the holes are very, very small. So yeah, what you got to do is take this part, use his video. But yeah, you can see it's uh, it's just a piece of uh, plastic. It's it's in between there. It's not a diaphragm. So yeah, we can throw that in the trash. Um, I just use this actually very soft plastic. You can go ahead and just actually file it in here um, for the electric mite. Make sure you put it all in there with the rubber grommet that comes with it. Um, but yeah, now we have full functionality. We have our lamp lights. Everything works. We can TX. Um, so yeah, this cord makes this uh, unit back to normal again. Um, and you know we have the option on the side to lock it for channel up and down but uh, even better than this I'll go ahead and show you real quick um, it's on a lot of these uh, Yaesu units there let's go ahead and do the uh, Mars uh, cap mod it'll receive 136 to 174 but it also transmit in that if you go ahead there is uh, uh, bank uh, resistors that need to be changed in the back we'll go over that in the future but you can also do it just by the uh, front panel uh, what I found with this unit at least has to be done every time you turn the unit on so all you have to do is hit this uh, two buttons here and uh, hit the power up It'll give you that flash and it'll say A2. A2 and give you the voltage of the unit. Um, now, we have full transmit capability from uh, 136, uh, let's say uh, 00, let's see, uh, 136, 00, oh, sorry, 136.0. Well, it's there okay so uh let's just do 173 850 full transmit capability 136 800 136 800 oh yeah sorry 137 And so we have full capability 137 to 174 173 900 I think We're farther than that, but So yeah, we're into a dummy load, but we got this thing set up. I like this microphone uh, I like it even better now that I can actually I mean look how small those uh, those holes are compared to the uh, the factory ones goodness see that's a there's one that's tiny right next to it, it looks like a little freckle but uh, yeah that's a, a the center ones where the electric did there's actually another one on the other side of that but yeah we have a backlight lamp everything's good this cords good with voltage going on it this uh, two meter is good to go all right well i do appreciate you sticking with me and uh now we have uh, better audio we'll get uh everything else worked out in the future but uh yeah we'll, we'll revisit this uh ft 2800 m by yesu in the near future but uh yeah pretty good steal for the uh pawn shop they don't really have radios much at all anymore and if they do it's just basic uh cb radios and that's a very rarity thing too ham radio was a very rare thing i found here but uh 
yeah for 65 watts but um got to go through and make sure that uh you know this we actually tune it down a little bit and not do the full max power because that always runs into issues even though it looks like a big thick heat sink on this ca suit but uh do appreciate it uh go ahead and hit the uh the buttons down here i think they're on this side here for y'all there should be the subscribe and then the bell button and uh i'll appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video throw a like up there and i'll get some more uh going to you on uh, the very very near future thank you 73 stick around for the next one i'm eric tech stuffs